Hi everybody. Um, first off, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of the support and comments and encouragement I got uh, on my last videos. I'm just overwhelmed by the responses. I never thought so many people would be watching these and supporting me on my journey. Um, so I'm just very appreciative um, of everybody who left a comment. I tried to respond to as many as I could. Uh, thank you so much for every single one of you who subscribed and liked and left a comment on my videos. I'm just overwhelmed by the support and love and all the advice that I got. I'm I just don't really have the words for it. I'm just blown away. Um, so thank you to every single one of you out there. Um, I am back at the house right now. It's probably gonna be a very short stay. Um, I really wanted to get her fridge looked at. There was a pool of water underneath it and it's just concerning me. Um, it is January, it's really cold here, so probably not going to have any estate sales. I did a lot of thinking while I was back home, and um, I did reach out to a few people who do estate sales and consultations. So I have appointments lined up. Two of them are coming tomorrow to come and look at the house and give me a quote. Um, there's just way too much stuff here for me to do by myself. Um, and the dilemma is, like my car is very small. I don't have enough room to take this, this stuff to Goodwill or Salvation Army. I just, like everything in here, somebody has to come pick it up. Um, and I just, I don't think having garage sales selling this piecemeal stuff is, I mean, I could do it. It's just very, very time consuming. It's a mental drain. Um, and I just really want to get this stuff out of here. Um, like I've done a lot of thinking about this and my mental health is just more important than trying to get as much money as I can selling the stuff piecemeal on you know, through garage sales and whatnot. Um, so, the two consultants are coming tomorrow. I'll see what they have to say after they look at the house and give me a quote. Um, I did have the fridge repair guy. He's coming today. He'll be here in a few hours. Um, and then I hope to just head back home either tomorrow afternoon or early the next morning. There's a big snowstorm coming in. I don't want to get stuck here. Um, I don't want to drive in the snow. My car is not a snow car at all. Um, so I just want to head out of here before the weather hits. Um, so those are my thoughts for right now. I did get a whole lot of questions in the comments on my last batch of videos. Um, I'm going to answer a lot of those in a video. I'm not sure if it's going to be in this video or I'll just make a separate video. Um, but I did get a lot of questions that I wanted to answer um, and just give you my thoughts on a lot of the comments that people left. Um, so I'll be doing that when I have some free time. Um, otherwise, I'm just waiting for the fridge repair guy. I might do a little cleaning up in here. Um, I know last time I left in kind of a hurry just because my foot was hurting me. I just really wanted to get out of here. So I didn't film much that day or what the house looks like. So let me show you what it looks like right now. Okay, so we're in the living room. All this underneath the sheet here. Oops. This is all, I should probably take this off. Um, it's mostly just fabric. 
I just covered it up because um, I had a sale in here. I didn't want people looking through it. Um, TV stand right here. So I have some books stacked up here. Still have the couch, a lot of knickknacks. Um, the screen chair. I need to double check. My mom said it was Ethan Allen. I'm not sure. I need to check on that, um, see if there's a marking on it. Um, there's more. We have the books here. I just kind of stacked these up. Some lady did buy the dining room table that was sitting here. That's why there's an empty space. I have an old stereo. Just random boxes. This was all on the dining room table. There's a big buffet back here. Um, it's just all full of dishes. Yep, lots of dishes. Like all this is full. Uh, more boxes. This is all craft and quilting magazines. I was gonna put those out for free. I didn't get to it last time. Uh, in the kitchen. I need to clear off some of this clutter. Um, still some random stuff on the floor. It's a lot better than it was. Still have a lot of food items, but all of this was food and I cleaned that out. Uh, it's a nice little cabinet. I'll probably keep that. And she's still, let's, she has this Fiesta wear. I think this stuff is Bauer. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to sell that yet. And then still lots of stuff in the hallway here. Clutter in the bathroom. And this is her quilting slash sewing room. It's pretty full. Can't get to the window. Stuff everywhere. Closet full. I didn't really do anything in here. Um, I'm just kind of saving this for later. Her office it looks a little better. Um, there's still all this fabric here. Still kind of the same, I guess. Um, laundry room the same. Garage. I was able to park my car in here, so I'm glad. Uh, I mainly just restacked everything on this side. Lots of tools. Um, this is mostly the empty boxes. that I just kind of gathered, put them here. Um, still lots of stuff over there. do much in her master bedroom. Let's see, I'll take you over there. My cat's in here. She might start meowing. No, nope. I guess she found a cubby hole. Um, 
more craft stuff. Those dressers are nice. I think I might keep those more crafting stuff. Um, this is all stuff I'm keeping. And bathroom looks mostly the same. Put the litter box in here with her food. Um, yeah, closet's full. I haven't touched anything in here. Where is my cat? Oh dear, she's hiding. Yep. So that's what we have. So I have decided I'm going to keep the house as a summer house, at least for this year. Um, a summer house is something I've kind of been looking for anyway. Um, where I live, the summers are just really hot and I just kind of need a getaway vacation home to escape to. Um, so I think this will be a good place for me. Um, and it gives me a timeline to get everything cleaned out. Um, I don't want to stay here with all this stuff in it. So I kind of have a timeline or a deadline. Um, at least late spring to get everything cleaned out. I'm not really sure how long this is going to take me. Um, again, it depends if I hire somebody. It'll probably go a lot faster than if I just do it on, all on my own. So that's the plan for this year. Um, kind of just sitting here waiting for the fridge guy to show up. Um, a good idea a lot of you mentioned is to just kind of have an area that's just clutter free and where I can just go and de-stress. Um, so I think I'm going to make the little kitchenette area my area. I'm going to do some decluttering in the kitchen, just kind of clear off the countertops. Um, just having all this clutter sit out is really mentally draining on me. Um, I like a clean kitchen with empty countertops. So I think the kitchen, or at least the kitchenette area is going to be my clutter-free zone where I can go and relax and not have to look at clutter. Um, I'm trying to clear out some stuff in the hallway. I'm trying to clear out some more trash. Um, they're coming on Friday, so today's Wednesday. I have a couple days. Um, I really hope to get out of here Friday, late morning, early afternoon, because um, there's really, I mean, not much for me to do here. It's too cold to really work out in the garage. Um, I'm kind of lost when it's coming to the estate sales. Um, I don't know. I'll see what the estate sale people have to say. Um, so that's the plan for today. So the fridge guy was here. Luckily it was just a clogged drain line and he was able to fix it. Um, yeah, everything went great with that. Um, so now the refrigerator isn't leaking water everywhere. I was able to clean out some of the food. Um, so it looks a lot better. Uh, let me show you what it looks like. So we can pull out the door now Oops. and he was able to put in like this ice cube tray because that was all filled with food and gross and dirty so I cleaned that out. I cleaned all of that, cleaned the inside of the door. Clean the outside. Now it looks pretty good. So I'm happy that went well. Um, also, one of the estate sale ladies came by today. She was supposed to come tomorrow, but she came today. She got mixed up, but that's okay. 
Um, I was more than happy to have her come in and look at this stuff. Um, so what she does is she kind of caters to what the client wants. So she can either do the sale all on her own with her team of people, or she can kind of go through this stuff along with me and tell me what's going to sell and what doesn't and put a price on it. Um, if I am going to choose her, I'd probably go that route. Um, her rates were kind of expensive if her team does everything, um, cause she charges for packing everything up, which I'm not sure why, if you're going to sell something, you would pack it up. Um, I don't know. She mentioned putting stuff out on the front lawn, so I guess that's what she meant. Um, that seems kind of silly. Um, and it was really expensive. Um, but her consulting rate seemed pretty reasonable. Um, she said we could probably go through everything in a day, which seems pretty optimistic. Um, I don't know, maybe. So if I do choose her, I would probably go with the consulting route. Um, it's like $50 an hour, so in one day, that's not that bad. Considering she's pretty much giving me advice on how to do the sale, how to set it up, what sells, what doesn't, what to donate, what to trash. And then I just basically do all the work, which is fine with me. Um, cause that's kind of my hang up is I don't know what sells and what doesn't. <sighs> um, as far as putting the sale on, I kind of feel like a chicken with their head cut off running around. So that's the possibility. If I choose her, I still have another consultant coming tomorrow. Um, she's the one that I think she only does estate sales. Usually they take a percentage of the sale if they do that. I don't know, I'll see what she says. But so far, what time is it? It's about 3.40. Uh, I've been, clean. I cleaned out the food in the freezer. I threw out about half the stuff I didn't want. Um, I think I'm going to go through her pantry, clean out some more food. I put two boxes out on the curb for free. I'll go put some more stuff out. And I think um, I'm going to finish up in the kitchen. Uh, let me show you what I've done so far. Okay, so this is the kitchenette area. I emptied out a shelf of food. So this is gonna be my little area. I'm gonna sit down, look out the window, chill out, relax, um, take it easy when I feel stressed. I think I'm going to finish up the night. I'm gonna clear off all these countertops um, because all this clutter is bothering me. I'm going to clean out a lot of this, uh, put it outside. Hopefully the neighbors will come and take it. And I also started going through her bathroom, cleaning out some of her toiletries and stuff. Um, any opened packages or half used, I'm just gonna put those outside for free. Um, so we'll see how much I get done today. So I got a lot of requests for people wanting more video footage of me actually doing the work, which that's fine. Um, it's just kind of hard for me to hold the phone and work at the same time. I might see if I can get some kind of thing that goes around your neck. I don't know, do they make stuff like that? Is it where you can hold your phone and use both hands? Um, I'll see about that. But I'm going to start here uh, and we'll see how far we get with me holding the phone. So tuna, I like tuna, I'm going to keep that. 
I'm going to keep all of these. Jasmine rice, I'll keep that. Dried cranberries, I'll keep that. <laughs> Kosher petite dills. These pickles. What are the ingredients on here? I don't know, polysorbate 80. I'm the type of person where I just read all the ingredient labels. I'm really picky about what I eat. Um, I don't know, shelf-stable pickles doesn't seem very, doesn't seem right. So I'm going to put that out. What fell? Oh, more tuna, we'll keep that. So she has a bunch of these tuna packets here. Syrup I don't use, that can go out. All the chicken and tuna can stay in here. Hungry Jack. Hash brown potatoes. I'll keep that. Is there anything in here I don't want? Whole grain brown rice. I don't know if it looks healthy. I'll keep that. Velveeta, no. Suddenly salad, no. Don't want that. No. Mm. Alvita and um, let's see. Where are these? Noodle soup. I'll keep those. Let's see, we have some olives I'll keep. A whole bunch of tuna and spaghetti. I cannot eat wheat, so that's a go out. Oops. Uh, Annie's. This is usually a healthy brand, but I cannot eat cheese. So these are gonna have to go out. Sorry if I can't hold the phone steady. <laughs> Home style potatoes. Uh, that's a no. Cup of noodles, stir fry. I'll keep that. More rice, I'll keep. What is in here? Rice. Organic mashed potatoes. She actually has quite a few things that I'm keeping. Suddenly salad, no. Southwest Ranch, no. And this. No. Right, rice. I think I don't need to bring my food anymore. I'll just eat all of this up. Okay. So, all that can go back. Um, let's see. Sliced beets. That's a no. More Velveeta fruits. I'll keep that. Black olives. Ooh, I don't know. Is there a date on here? I think those will go out. Jeez, more canned stuff. How much does she have? Cheese sauce. No. No. Alita, no. Weed in it. No. More tuna. Um, 
Mm, I guess we're keeping a lot of this. Ramen noodles. So we'll just keep it like that. Um, no, these triscuits can go. Vanilla latte. Whole milk. Artificial flavor. That's a no. And pasta. Smoked gouda. No. healthy but I do not eat it it makes me bloated oh a slow cooker I'm gonna keep that Tea. um I think this is pretty good or pasta that can go out I don't even know what this is. It has like a timer on it. kind of cooking thing. Interesting. Guess I'll keep that. Um so let's see that's going out. That does it for right here. I'll just do the bottom one. In here. A lot more pasta that can go out. So that's it for these cabinets. A visit from Mr. Cat. He came to get his dinner. Hello to Mr. Cat. He's our neighborhood stray cat. He comes over every once in a while, gets his food, hangs out for a few hours, and then leaves. Isn't that right, Mr. Cat? So it's nearing the end of the day on Wednesday, just wanted to come on here and kind of share my thoughts. So I feel like I've kind of had a change of heart. Before I was just angry, upset that my mom left all this stuff for me, but I realized she didn't do it on purpose. She didn't mean all this work 
for me to do. I mean, it wasn't her intention. I realized that, that hoarding is a mental disorder and people can't really, they've lost touch with reality, uh, basically. Um, so, I feel like since I've made some progress, even though it doesn't really look like I've made progress today, I mean, the kitchen is starting to look like a kitchen again, so I'm happy about that. And I've come to realize that this is kind of like my last gift to my mom is being a good steward of her things and taking care of them and just making sure they go to a good home and it's being responsible and not, you know, like don't just trash everything and throw it away just because I'm upset. I probably would have regretted doing that anyway. It's, I don't feel like that's the right thing to do right now. Um, so, I mean, I can feel her here with me right now. And I know, like, she just didn't mean any harm to me. She, it wasn't her intention to burden me with all of her things. And I'm just, I feel like I'm just trying to do the best that I can. Um, and just, you know, get through the process. If it takes a long time, it takes a long time. Um, I feel like this is just kind of my project for right now, for this time in my life. And when it's over, I mean, there'll be a new project for me to take on. Um, I don't know what that will be, but when the time comes, it'll present itself. So... I just want to say when a loved one dies, you go through like the five stages of loss. I can't remember exactly what they are, but um, I'm sure you've heard of them. So in the beginning, I was angry, upset, and I've come to terms that you know, I'm no longer angry. Um, I mean, that's probably why I cut my foot open and I had my foot injury because I was angry. And when you're angry, bad things happen, you know, injuries happen. So it kind of made me stop and think about my mindset and my attitude. Um, my attitude needed to change, so I'm changing it. <sighs> Uh, it's a hard pill to swallow, but, you know, that's life. It needs to be done. If I just would have stayed angry, I just would have kept injuring myself. Um, so I feel like I've moved past that stage right now, and I'm just... I'm just very grateful for the things she did leave me. Um... <clears throat> I mean, it's a really hard thing to go through. It's just going through somebody's life. It's this, you know, all of her things. This was her life. Um, and I'm the only person in the world who's responsible for her things. That's, I mean, I feel very grateful that she chose me to look after them after she passes. Um, I promised myself I wouldn't cry. <laughs> um, okay, so those are my thoughts for today. Um, just be grateful for what life has given you. Hug your loved ones while they're still here. Tell you, tell them you love them, and just. Have a positive attitude, no matter what life throws at you. So, 
I'll see you tomorrow.